Good afternoon. Thank you all for being here today. Yesterday, the California Highway Patrol suffered a tragedy. CHP officer Andre Moye was killed in the line of duty. At approximately 5.37 p.m., Officer Moye was on a traffic stop on Eucalyptus Avenue west of northbound 215 in the city of Riverside. Officer Moye was impounding the pickup truck from that traffic stop. At some point during the stop, the suspect retrieved a rifle from his vehicle and assaulted Officer Moye. Officer Moye was able to put out an officer needs assistance call on his radio and numerous officers responded to the scene, including three CHP officers, several deputies from the Riverside Sheriff's Department, and several officers from the Riverside Police Department. During the gun battle with the suspect, as I mentioned, Officer Moye sustained serious injuries. He was life lighted to the hospital where unfortunately he succumbed to his injuries. Three of the officers, the CHP officers that arrived on scene, two of them suffered injuries. One did not sustain any injuries. One of the officers, a six-year veteran of the California Highway Patrol, uh, suffered minor injuries to his leg. Uh, this, the second officer, a four-year veteran of the California Highway Patrol. Is that better? Okay, the, uh, the second officer that was injured is a four-year veteran of the California Highway Patrol, and he received major injuries to his leg. He was in critical condition. Uh, I visited with the officer this morning, and he was conscious and talking in good spirits and is expected to uh, make a recovery. This incident shows just how dangerous the job of the California Highway Patrol and law enforcement is in general. People talk about routine stops, but there are no routine stops, as this incident proves. Now, I'd, like, I'd like to say, thank, the, thank the public for their support. Um, their outpouring has been very gracious. And I'd also like to thank our allied agency partners, some of who are represented here today. The Riverside Police Department, Riverside Sheriff's Department, Cal Fire, Riverside City Fire Department, the medical staff at Riverside County Medical Center in Reno Valley who valiantly tried to save Officer Morier, but despite their efforts, he succumbed to his injuries. I'd also like to thank the uh, AMR Ambulance Service, the Riverside, Riverside County DA's office who were instrumental at the scene and throughout this investigation, they will be very instrumental. <clears throat> officer Moye was an outstanding officer. I had the privilege of meeting him numerous times. He's a three-year member of our department. He has been a motorcycle officer for the past year. He was very excited about that. He, his mother last night told me that this was his dream job and he loved going to work, and it's what he always wanted to do. Officer Moray embodies everything that the California Highway Patrol stands for with professionalism, dedication, and service to the public. Andre had a servant's heart, and that's why he was a member of this organization. Andre was survived by his wife, mother, father, stepfather, two brothers, two sisters, as well as an extremely large, extended, and loving family. Officer Moy was an outstanding individual, and he will be deeply missed by the California Highway Patrol. Are there any questions?
Well, he, he was a very, very caring and, and giving person, talking with his family last night. That's just one example of, of numerous. He was always here. Um, you know, he's the type of the guy that, that everybody liked. And uh, I actually met him when he was training to be a motorcycle officer. He was training with the, with the entire motor squad from our, our three metropolitan areas. Got to speak with them. It's a very difficult class that they go to. He was very confident, very positive in his abilities. And he went up and he, he passed the school first time with flying colors. But he was a very, very caring individual. And he was very well liked and respected by the entire staff here. Any other questions? So No, Robert, it's, it's still an investigation. We don't have the exact time, but I, I will tell you that the, uh, the, the time of the stop until, the, uh, until it was uh, terminated was several, several minutes, and that the gun battle lasted for several minutes as well. Chief, can you talk specifically to why this officer in the county? You know, n not at this time. The is still going on, and I don't want to discuss those details at this time. Uh, we, we have we have seen some video. Um, the investigators are, are sifting through those, but I'm not going to discuss anything that we have right now. There's a lot of security chief at the hospital. Can you comment on that? We know SWAT chief is there as well as river vehicles. Our, our partners, Riverside County Sheriff's Department, um, they were providing security at the hospital, and I will let uh, Sheriff Bianco discuss that. Chad Bianco, Riverside County Sheriff. If I heard you, were you talking about the security at the hospital? Uh, we did have a, a large contingent of security at the hospital. Uh, in a situation like this, we have someone engaging for an extended period of time in a battle with law enforcement. We have uh, three officers there at the hospital in addition to the suspect. So out of an abundance of caution for not only our deputies, the officers that were there, uh, but also a hospital staff. Um, I made the decision to make sure that we had plenty of security there to handle anything that might happen. Uh, we're still looking into that. Obviously, in the very beginning, um, we we run off of everything that we're told, off of rumor, off of speculation, off of social media. So we had to follow up with uh, all of that today and probably in the next several days. But when we're told of that information in the beginning, uh, that plays into part of why we why I made that decision to, to have that security there. Can you share what, if anything, you learned from the search warrant you served today? It, we, we're not going to share anything with that about that. It's too soon to share that information. Right now, all we can describe it is as a rifle. Um, as you can imagine, this uh, investigation is complex. It's involving uh, at least three law enforcement agencies, and it's going to be very lengthy. The gun hasn't even been processed uh, by our detectives or uh, uh, sent out for any evaluation, any, anything like that. So that's going to take some time, but we can say that it, it was some sort of rifle that was used to uh, attack and engage these officers. I, I, not that I know of. Um, again, we are we, we have identified the suspect, and uh, we are looking into uh, if he had anything outstanding, his criminal history, um, any affiliation with anything. Um, that's that's an ongoing process, um, but we don't have any information uh, to release right now as to if he was actually wanted for anything or or what led to his motivation to commit this act. I thank you guys, um, ladies. That will conclude the press conference. Uh, we will not be holding another press conference. All information, all updates will be conducted via our Twitter account.
Um, also here shortly, we'll be conducting any Spanish. For those of you that need Spanish uh, um, response, we can go ahead and that, provide that for you guys, okay? Thank you all for coming. Thank you. What's your Twitter account? Uh, our, our Twitter account is CHP Inland. Thank you, guys.